The trench experience we have here at the museum, it's actually the longest trench that you can go and visit off mainland Europe. It, I think it's 350 metres long with something like 6,000 sandbags in it. It was built because the museum's been taking part in the sort of the decade of commemorations that are going on here in Ireland since 2012. And the idea was to recreate the experience of living in a trench, of what life would be like. And I think it does that quite well. Because the way your life worked, if you like, in, in the trenches was you would move up to the front and spend five days and nights at the front. And then we were walking around in mud and water for long, long periods, which is why you ended up with things like trench foot. And when you filled the ground between two opposing trenches with barbed wire, well, everybody who stood up on that ground became a target. Yeah, the conditions were just as bad as, as, as being attacked, and this was industrial warfare in a way that it hadn't been previously. Uh, economies were so advanced at the time that they were able to produce weapons that brought killing and wholesale destruction to a much higher level than it had ever been before. Well, the First World War had a very big impact on Ireland and the Irish people. At the time, Ireland was part of a union with Britain, and so quite a few fought because it was an opportunity to make a living, to get on in the world, to see some adventure. And of those men who fought, the figure is between 35 and 49,000 of how many died in the First World War. It's a way of actually getting a hands-on experience of history. You read about these things in books, but in terms of children, in terms of how they actually get interested in these things, actually being able to come somewhere like this and handle weapons, handle uniform, walk through the trenches, it brings it alive for them. It's a, it's a part of Ireland's history, and Ireland's history is very diverse. And if we forget about things like the amount of men and the amount of people who took part in the First World War, well, we don't really have a, a real sense of who we are or where we've come from, because it's as much a part of our history as anything else. <laughs>